Hi everyone. For today's lesson, you will learn to create a game using Microsoft PowerPoint. So this game is a lot different than the game that you have made during ALP lesson. So let us watch and see how the game works. Here we have four different objects and you need to click on it to see whether they can be recycled or not. Now, um, the order of the object that you click don't matter, so I can just click on any of it first. So let's start with the pen. So here you can see pen cannot be recycled. Likewise for the shoe. And then the cardboard can be recycled and the metal can can be recycled. So the order of it does not matter. Uh, let us now let's try a different order and see whether it still works. Maybe now I start with the can first. Can can be recycled, then maybe pen next. Cannot be recycled. Box, it can be recycled. And then the shoe cannot be recycled. So here it shows that the order of pictures that you click on doesn't matter. Okay, so are you ready to learn how to make this interactive game? Okay, so as you watch the video, always keep your eyes um, on the cursor, okay, on the red circle where the cursor goes and where it clicks on. And at any point of the video, you can pause the video to try it on your own if you have Microsoft PowerPoint in your laptop. If you do not have, it's fine. Okay, you can just watch the video to the end. But if you have Microsoft PowerPoint, okay, you can pause the video at any point to try it. Okay, so here, open up your Microsoft PowerPoint on your laptop if you have it. And click on Layout, followed by Blank. Next, we're going to insert online pictures. Okay, and we're going to insert two pictures of a normal bean and a recycling bean. So we we'll search for recycling bean and don't forget PNG at the end. Okay, so when I search for it, I coincidentally able to find something that looks alike. One as a normal trash bean and the other as a recycling bean. So I'm going to select both of them, check on this bean and this bin, then click on insert. So you can see there are two pictures, okay, being inserted here. And we can just resize them. So maybe the, this is too big, let's make it slightly smaller. And this is too small, so let's make it slightly bigger. So let's put them side by side and resize them so they are similar in size. When you resize, you can see that there's a dotted line that appears. Okay, so we know now that they are about the same um, uh, at the same height from the top. Okay, let's see how about the bottom. Okay, so we yep here. Okay, so now they are about the same size. Next, we're going to insert four pictures. Okay, so the first one that I look for is box PNG. Okay, so the same thing, we size it, and then next will be pen, which I know it's a typo mistake, yeah. pen, okay, so the next one will be drink can, Just make sure you resize them and align them at the top. So the last one, insert online picture, will be shoes. Okay, so there you have it. You have four pictures. Okay, align them at the top so that they don't overlap. Okay, so now we need to set animation. Okay, such that when you click on it, okay, it will move towards um, the bin, either the normal trash bin or the recycle bin. Let us start with the box first. Okay, so click on animation. Now, um, before you start on animation, it's important for you to click on animation pin so that you can see whatever animation you've done on the column over here. 
So since you need to move towards the bin, okay, click on add animation there. So make sure you click on the box, click on add animation, scroll down, and of course you insert motion path lines so that it can move. Okay, but we don't want it to move downwards. So you can see this red dot, right? So move your mouse over to the red dot. When you get this arrow cursor, okay, then you click and drag towards the recycle bin. So here you can see this box is actually picture 5. Alright, so we want to set a trigger. A trigger means we're going to tell an instruction to PowerPoint that this object will move to the recycle bin only when a person click on this object. Okay, so the box will move to the recycle bin only when a person click on the box. So this box is picture 5. Which means that when I do trigger on click off picture 5. So this could be different for you, okay, but as long as it matches. Okay, so this trigger you can see must match with the picture itself. So after it drops into the recycle bin, you need it to disappear. So add animation, disappear. But the disappear must be after it move. So you can see that this line is the animation, okay, for it to move the recycle bin. And this one, the one with red star, is disappear. Okay, you need to click and drag so that this is how it's like. So which means after it moves to the recycle bin, it will disappear. Okay, but one more step we need to do, which is instead of on click, it must be after previous. So it will automatically disappear right after it moves to the recycle bin. So here it must be after previous. So now we'll do the same for the pen. Add animation. Okay, scroll down. Lines. So you just need to adjust it for it to move into the trash bin. Okay, so the pen for me is the picture 6. Okay, so I click on trigger and I will choose picture 6. So it matches. Next, the same thing. Okay, you need to make it disappear. Okay, but we don't want it to be at the top. We need to make sure it's after it moves down. So you have to click and drag here. And then you need to select on after previous. So the same thing for aluminium can, add animation, choose lines, so adjust it, okay, at the red circle there, okay, bring your mouse over, when you get the double arrow, click and drag, so my drink can is picture 7, so I click on trigger, on click off picture 7, and then add animation to make it disappear. But the disappear must be after it move down. So click and drag. And then choose after previous. The last one is the shoe. Add animation. Scroll down. Lines. Okay, bring the path to the normal bin, trash bin. So the shoe is picture 8, so on trigger of picture 8. And then add animation, make it disappear. It will disappear after it moves to the normal trash bin. And then after previous. Now let's see if it works. So you can click on any of the object. It moves and disappear. It moves and it disappears. So there you go, the game works. Alright, so if you have own Microsoft PowerPoint, um, do try it at home. You can watch the video again, pause it at any point you want and try this.